So there are a lot of AI tutorials out there that make ChatGPT, especially ChatGPT 4.1, seem absolutely amazing in its ability to generate accurate AI images. Is it really worth paying for it if you're gonna be utilizing it just for the reason of getting super nice, super accurate images? So take a look here. This is the New Jersey County map. And what I'm gonna do is ask ChatGPT to recreate the New Jersey County map. So here in ChatGPT 4.0, I just said a county map of New Jersey. And you see here that this is extremely inaccurate. This is not only inaccurate in the borders, it's inaccurate in the spelling and the name of the different counties. For instance, this is Essex, not Essex, and it's actually located in a different region. Not good. So then I asked ChatGPT 4.1, which is supposedly a lot better, to create a county map of New Jersey. Here we see that it pretty much did the same thing. If anything, it's actually a little more confusing than the other map. And this is a pretty easy ask. I mean, there's only a certain amount of counties in New Jersey. There's a whole plethora of images to learn from online. So if I just type in county map of New Jersey, I'll get a lot of images to learn from. So it doesn't really have an excuse for why it is so extremely inaccurate. The next thing I did here is I tested it. If it knows the opening of the Danish Gambit in chess, it's one of my favorite openings to play against beginner and intermediate folks and over here it actually got it correct and then I asked for it to go ahead and create an image of the Danish Gambit. So this is what it created for us here. You could tell that this is terribly wrong. Look at this, there's three white rooks. You can also see there are two light squared bishops and the bishop is in the place of where the knight should be. So this is not the Danish Gambit and it also got the board wrong. So then I went to test it in ChatGPT 4.1 and you can also see that it got it incorrect. First of all, the second row, there are no pawns, it put them all in the third row and this is very inaccurate. Now it did a pretty decent job at attempting to label the actual files. So this is the A file, B file, C file, D file, E file, C file, B file. This is incorrect, right? But at least it got these four correct and it's pretty easy. It should be B, C, D, E, F, G, H, right? And it couldn't really handle that ask. And so this was a failure as well, although the board looks nicer. I also see another mistake here that it has a B here. This should be eight. This is row eight and it's not. So it's not doing a good job here at all. So then I saw in other tutorials, they show that it's amazing at isolating the background and even if it's a complex background. So I took this image of my love. We went on a walk through Bergen County in Saddle River Park and I took a picture of her. This was her after work and I wanna isolate just her and remove the background. So I ask here, please remove the background. It went ahead and created an entirely different person. It distorted her body type a little bit. I asked it to just upscale the image to X and you could see that even here, it went ahead and distorted the face some more. I said crop background of the original image I uploaded, but do not change the face or body. And it created this for me. And lucky for me, this is not the love of my life. Now this was ChatGPT 4.0, but there is ChatGPT 4.1, so probably we'll do a better job, right? So I went and tried it out. So here I uploaded a picture of my love once again, and I said, please remove the background. And it created this image. This is not her at all. This is a completely different face, although it did a decent job with the hands and actually isolating the body, although it changed the body. This is not really her body. This is someone else now. So then I said, crop background of the original image I uploaded, but do not change the face or body. And it gave me this. This is, I mean, take a look at this face and then take a look at this face. It completely different, two completely different people. And it again went and distorted the body quite a bit. So the next thing I did here is I took a professional portrait shot of me. I actually use this as my LinkedIn profile cover photo. And what I asked is to remove the mic and remove the shadow. So in Photoshop, I basically just use the lasso tool. I selected both of these items here. And then in the generative fill, I said, remove the mic. And so how do I accomplish that? I simply click generative fill and I will say, remove the microphone and shadow. I'll click generate. And you can see here that it did a pretty much perfect job. It did not distort the image. It just removed exactly what I had asked for. 
and I'm quite happy with this result. Now let me go ahead and try to accomplish this in ChatGPT. So we'll start with ChatGPT 4.0. I said, can you remove the mic on both sides and the shadow from the mic while keeping everything else the same? And it created this, which is probably a more good looking version of me. Uh, this fellow's definitely a lot higher though. And you could also see some imperfections or inaccuracies. For instance, we see that there's two chains now. So there's one chain that's going above the shirt. There's another chain underneath the shirt. So this is a steel yo girl, steel yo chain version of me, right? So I said, you changed the face. Can you keep the face the same? Now it created this. This does not look like me, thankfully. I think this looks worse than me. And then I said, can you try again? And it basically just did something very similar. And then I went ahead and asked for the same thing in ChatGPT 4.1. And you could see here that also did a pretty poor job. It took even more hair off of me. I'm losing hair as it is, but here it just made me almost completely bald. And uh, this is a different person. It does not look like me anymore. And when I said, you change the face, can you keep the face the same? It explained to me that I should use tools like Photoshop and some of the other touch-up tools. Now, lastly, there's a lot of videos showing, well, you could create amazing cover photos and stuff. So I did this here. So I took a sample cover photo. This is when I explained Avalanche, it's a crypto project. And I posted the video, this was probably a week or a couple of months ago. And so what I did is I wanted to isolate myself from the background. So if you take a look here, I actually did a really good job. So I could show it to you here. If I create a background overlay, you will see that the cutout is perfect. Using Photoshop, I used the pencil tool, I selected myself carefully, I removed the background. So here I was curious, if I upload this photo to ChatGPT, will it be able to isolate me? And it doesn't even matter if the chair is included. Here I took out the chair, but let's see how good of a job it does isolating me from the background. So here I'm gonna ask it to remove the background and just leave the subject visible. So again, I'm hoping for a cutout and a result that looks similar to this. Let's see what ChatGPT created for us. It created this. So this is me right here. Does this look good to you? Does this look like me? This looks like a cook in Olive Garden before he spits into your food. And this was ChatGPT 4.0. So now let's try ChatGPT 4.1. And here it also completely misses the mark, although this is definitely a lot closer to what I was hoping for than the other version. I will also say though, you could take a look here at my hand and you could see that I do have four fingers, whereas here it has me having three fingers. It also made this long sleeve shirt that's rolled up a t-shirt that's around my biceps, that's not how it was previously. And it looks like it cut away inside of this A, so that if I go ahead, let's actually test that. So here's the PNG and you see that it in fact did get rid of, I guess, my chest that kind of lasered right through it. And you see that, that if I make the background a different color, now this is a different color as well. So with that being said, don't believe everything that you see on the internet. Try to follow the people that are pretty accurate when they're assessing these AI tools, because other people, they just wanna show the most amazing versions. Some of it is faked. Some, they just tried it a hundred times and got lucky with a good result. And that's the one they feature because the whole point of these AI YouTubers is to go ahead and put out amazing content to get you to say wow and also to get companies to say wow he really makes the product look good let's bring him on as an affiliate let's give him a sponsorship deal so that he can go ahead and review our product as well but lucky for you on this channel I make the videos quite late usually in the middle of the night when I'm grouchy and I'm quite honest and I don't have a filter. So all that is to say, if you're trying to purchase ChatGPT or cancel your Photoshop or your mid journey because you feel like ChatGPT does it a lot better, I will have to recommend to you to stick around for a little bit longer. It's not to say that ChatGPT isn't gonna get it right very, very soon, but for now, it's not doing an extremely good job.